Um, all right, cryptocurrencies. Oof, man, are they in a devil of an area? Actually, I'm so excited about that area. So we have this wedge on Bitcoin, and we have. Uh, let me get my actual crypto chart up. All right, we are finally getting some volume in here. Um, um, that volume is increasing quite a bit. That's awesome. Um, and we we have uh, a lot of great momentum and movement, which is fantastic. We need to get some, we, we really need to get some, a, a catalyst in price movement here. If it's not gonna go up, it needs to shift down. And, and actually I'm fine with this. I'm really looking forward to this going down. Uh, if you hear my cat, oh my gosh, he cries every time my wife leaves. <laughs> uh, it's the mourn of his people. So we have a this new moon phase here. How is this going to affect us long term? Eh, you know, we'll see. Um, for the next two weeks, usually the signals that we we could have a a two weeks of straight up movement followed by another two weeks of straight up movement. But you know, what does this realistically look like? Uh, we're just kind of sitting at at the bottom of our wedge. We're technically below the wedge, but we have such volume participation in here now that this this may be a false break we'll see in fact let's look at our bollingers yeah we have we have uh kind of neutral conditions in our composite index but we are oversold and pushing oversold in the rsi um actually it looks like we may be ending up with a inverse head and shoulders on the rsi which is kind of cool that does not happen often all right well it does but doesn't always respond that that like you think. So just that we're getting more volume in here and in the whole crypto market is is good. We want more money in here. Look at all these coins are just being destroyed left and right. A lot of these altcoins. Uh you know, that's that's very obvious. Flight we can selling off before the buyers step back in. It's very, very normal, common kind of movement. Um, so let's look at, let's go Elliott Wavy again. I don't know why I'm on an Elliott Wave kick because it's not my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> but I must like it somewhat if I'm using it. So let, let's just say that we have our, this is our, our first impulse wave, okay? That we just finished our first impulse wave. Then we get into our corrective wave. Where are we at? Do, do. Okay. So we have our corrective wave. I'm not going to use this. This is a little unrealistic uh, move there. But this is not. Or if we even want to go further, maybe we want to go down to 10. So where could I put the first without this looking really ridiculous? Sometimes I like to work backwards. little silly <laughs> however you get it okay so really I I think finding a supportive buy zone between 8,000 and 10,000 is fine again I I'm gonna maintain my my uh, long anywhere below 15,000 with the uh, 
those are my ideal areas. Um, there's a lot of weak hands that are going to get shuffled out here. A lot of people are going to freak out. When we get to 10, it won't stop. It'll want to push down to 8, 7,500. I think that's going to be awesome. You're going to get a lot of the, the new traders. This is a – this kind of a market – because uh, cryptocurrencies are, for a lot of folks, it is the first instrument they have ever traded. They are not used to big swings like the big boys in Forex and futures. And people who have been trading in cryptocurrencies, they have really only experienced easy gains for a whole year. And, and so if you're a new trader and that's all you've experienced is wins and, you've, and, and you get into this mind, psychologically, this is the most damaging environment for new traders. Cryptocurrencies are going to going to kill so many accounts because there are very immature traders out there participating in this this very very advanced and and, uh, and uh, market. Uh, so the, the the people that have gotten so used to seeing their money grow 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 and now have been very frustrated with with consolidation and further down movement, they are going to be the people selling the rest of us their cheap Bitcoin. <laughs> <clears throat> so we have to be thankful for for that what are they, they always say that there's three kinds of animals in the market you have your bulls your bears and then you have your pigs and pigs get led to the slaughter that's not a very nice name but that you know pigs get pigs get fattened up and uh you know they get put into a nice little pen up here and they get to feeling good and then all of a sudden the bulls and the bears come in and uh take it from them <laughs> <clears throat> so conversely some people say that, uh, that then we feed the bulls so that they get nice and fat and then the bears eat them as steak until we let the bulls graze again and get fat and then we eat them for steak again <laughs> so it's just a, it's a circle of life um that's why you should never identify identify yourself as a as a permable or a perma bear because you you would find offense to some of the things i just said and uh, I hope nobody here identifies themselves as a pig. <laughs> that is just not a good, good uh, market animal to to be. So, anyways, zooming back down here, um, I have these two areas listed on the uh, by the 16th that we would get to either uh, by 116, 111. Uh, I had there that that we would get to here if we were going to have further movement. Um, that did happen, and that's working out nicely. Uh, I'm expecting this entire zone from here down below to be very responsive to, to, to further buyers. Um, but a break of 10, we should get into a, a nice uh, uh, further uh, supportive buying area. But nice to see all this volume. Wonderful, wonderful volume in here over the last few number of hours ever since um, yeah, 3 o'clock Central Time till now. We've had just excellent volume. Um, which has been very nice. So, um, yeah, that's our that's our that's our trade. Um, again, it's nice to see that we're getting some nice setups going on here in our markets. Um, I'm I'm personally very excited. I'm like I like seeing all this volume and return to normalcy. Um, Euro trade, you know, it's coming down very nicely. That's good. This I'm telling you, this new moon stuff, this moon cycle stuff is very powerful. Uh, I'm loving it. Um, it. Markets respond to these levels very well, very often. You know, gold is just, you know, th it's just one of those things. If you've never heard this before, you're gonna you're gonna have one big tool in your toolbox that uh, no other traders really know about. Uh, no, nobody ever tells you about it, and that is moon phases. And you can find that in TradingView. It's a standard indicator. You don't, even, you don't even have to have the paid version to get this, I, I believe. But even even if you don't have this, even if you if you don't have the the uh, software, then you have Google. <laughs> Just type in Moon Phases, and there it will. This gives you gives you a heads up of every single it's going to tell you where every new full moon and every new moon shows up. We have a new moon today. That means inst 
any instrument, any chart that is at a swing high, a long long term or short term swing high has a high chance of selling off. All right. And so we are seeing evidence of that in a lot of our markets right now. You always have this build up. This is the end of um, euphoria in markets. This is how moon phases affect our psychology. They affect if they affect our tides, if they affect three fourths of the planets move uh, uh, water. <laughs> uh, Actually, well, just three-fourths of the planet is water. If the moon can affect that much of the planet, that mass, uh, why is it outside the realm of possibility that the moon doesn't affect humans as a whole? Um, I worked in mental health for 12 years. I know the moon affects people. Um, so when we get to a new moon, that means a lot of positive sentiment in the news and in our emotions as a whole in societies gets to an end up here. This is the apex and we start to be very negative for the next two weeks. Okay. Anyways, uh, enough about that. Uh, hope, hope some of these trades pan out for you again. You can find the uh, signals on the portal and uh, they are there. And uh, it's awesome. We have some trades. I hope some of them have turned out profitable for you and we will, I won't talk to you tomorrow. Actually, I'm gone tomorrow. I'm flying out with my wife to her uh, uh, folks' place, and uh, I'm going to be there for the rest of the week, but uh, be, I'll be with you guys Thursday and Friday morning. I just won't be there tomorrow morning. We leave at 6 a.m. So, um, yeah. Anyways, you guys have a great trading day, and we'll talk to you Thursday. I'll, I'll get some – and I'll, oh, sorry. I'll try and get some trades in here for you on Thursday uh, um, before I fly out. If I see any trades, I'll, I'll post them in here for you. So I won't be here to talk, but hopefully I'll get some trades in for you. All right. Uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.